Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I have shown you how to calculate the phonons at the gamma point. However, if you want to calculate the phonon dispersion or the phonon density of state, you need to use some external software than WASP. One software that is quite good is called PhononPy, based on Python. And in this video, I will show you how to install PhononPy. And in the next video, I will show you how to use PhononPy to calculate the phonon dispersion. So we go to the GitHub of PhononPy and site and installation. So there are many ways to install PhononPy, including using Conda, using pip, or using source code. Yeah, But I think the best way, as they recommended, is this one, minimum steps to install and use PhononPy via Conda. And in principle, you can also use just this line here. But I would suggest that you follow those three lines here because it creates a Conda environment that does not interfere with other Python existing environments. Yeah? And this is also the standard for, for the neural network industry. So we just do that. But before that, you have to install Anaconda. So you just search Anaconda and download. So download, I will use this one, 3.7 version, and save file. While waiting for the download, you can try to find the installation guide here that is here, read more, and installation here. Installation on Linux. Yeah. Since I'm using Ubuntu, and Ubuntu originates from Debian, so what you need to do is to run this line of code to get all of the libraries that are needed. Go to the terminal, and then sudo run this line of code here. Yeah. And yes. It seems that most of the things are already installed. Just need something a little bit more. And then we are finished. Now we use this line of code here. Yeah. The download is finished. We just run this line of code here to install Anaconda. Press continue. You have to read through the license terms and then write yes. And uh, we want to choose another folder here. And it starts to uh, install. Okay, and it is recommended to use yes here, but also it's not a problem if you write no. If you write no, you need to source the um, Anaconda every time before you use. But if you write yes, it is automatically loaded into the environment through the .bash rc file. So I would write yes here. Okay, because it is written in the .bash rc file, we need to source it. Bash rc file here. Okay, and you see that there's a base here, which means that Anaconda is actually activated. And then the second step is to install PhononP. So we first run this line of code here. And yes. Okay, and then you activate the Conda environment here, and this is changed to PhononPy. The third step is to install PhononPy, yeah. And yes. Okay, now it's very simple. If you want to deactivate this Conda environment, you just say Conda deactivate. And then if you want to activate this environment, you need to use this line of code here. So PhononPy is only installed inside this PhononPy environment. And if you want to run PhononPy, it is here, it shows error because there is no input file. Yeah. Okay. So in this video, I've shown you how to install PhononPy based on Conda. 
And in the next video, I will show you how to calculate dispersion of phonon in silicon. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, I appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time.